Criminal jail is what? Uh, do girls hit on you? Like, do they ask you out when you're on the street or anywhere? Anywhere in a closet, whatever it is you are. Have girls ever asked you out? No! Never! For real? You? Yes. Me. No way. No way! Are you okay? Why are you just looking at me? Because I'm staring at how beautiful you are. There's no way in hell that a girl has never asked you out. Look at your beard. Look at your muscles. Look at how manly you are. Look at your beautiful brown diamond, not even diamond, emerald ruby eyes. Look at your beautiful bra eyebrows. Even the little scar you have on your eyebrow is sexy. Like everything about you. Why wouldn't a girl ask you out? Because, uh, I don't know. Because they're dumb, I guess. I don't fucking know. Equality, by the way. Equal rights. Except for paying for my meals and asking guys out. That's the only... That's where it stops. That's where this... Like, uh, are you going to pay for it? Oh, no, I don't want equal rights. Are you going to ask me out? Oh, no. And it's pretty sad. And I hope that there's a girl watching this and she's like, What are you talking about? That's not true. Shut the hell up, person that gets axed out, hit on all the time, gets their meals paid for it, goes on dating sites, probably gets 20 to 40 messages every single day by thirsty ass guys. That's you. That's your life. So when I always hear people are like, that's not true. I'm like, you're full of shit. And you're, this is why I don't trust uh, most of the, 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 the retarded women in NYC in general because that's the ones i've dealt with on my i don't trust you okay i don't trust you if you can never tell the truth listen you can talk shit about everybody in the planet as long as they're a guy anyways but when it's a girl that does wrong or the, the truth about this and the way things are you will deny it to the end of eternity that's why i can't trust you especially if you could call yourself a feminist but you're you're nothing near a feminist see real feminists are great the new modern feminist garbage these fucking corny SSGW feminists nowadays garbage but that shit pisses me off a lot you don't even understand so I've figured this out a long time ago. Like, I used to be that dumb fucking kid, and I used to be like, yeah, blah, blah, women, yeah. And I used to, like, try to, like, go, like, ask them out, and I used to try to cater to them and stuff like that, because that's what you're taught to do. Make sure you cater, blah, blah, blah. Then I started noticing, how come I never get anything back? How come I don't get hit on? And the whole game, the whole cat and mouse game of, like, going to clubs and, like, like trying to dance with it. All these things are for fucking corn balls. I think it's fucking corny. And the only way things will change is if you just stick up for yourself. It almost feels like a bunch of other guys out there are very insecure. And in their minds, they're like, well, I don't think I deserve anything. Well, you obviously do. But also, if everyone, if all the guys would just say, you know what, we're tired of this shit. And uh, we're going to get axed out. I'm not going to ask out any girls. The girls will definitely start asking guys out. That's what make it an equal, equal range. Now, there are... I don't even know why I got to say not all. Because it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty sad. If I'm not talking about you, then you, you don't have, this video is not for you. I'm just talking about the 95%. <laughs> There's five... And it's, it's always this way anyways, in general, you could say with guys or girls, there's only, I always feel like there's 5% really awesome people in this world, like a 5% of them actually have brains, and they actually are equal, and then there's the 95% that make me want to go, oh, vomit all over the fucking place, 
You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Only the thinkers know what I'm talking about. The ones that are angry at this video right now. You're dumb. Anyways, you're dumb. I'm sorry I have to sing a song for you. That's called the You're Dumb song. And also, I love the way your ears match your knees. The, your, they look, it looks really nice. Your ears and your knees match perfectly. They look great. Um, but I hate you and you need to stop. And that's it. It's annoying. I'm going to tell you a story. This is I'm making this video because of what happened yesterday. I went out to meet up with my cousin. And guess what? I went. She's like, oh, I'm going to go to Whole Foods. I need to buy some deodorant. And, and in my head, I'm like, uh, it's winter time. You need deodorant. Just let the cold. Uh, even though, wait. Okay, maybe sometimes you need deodorant. But most of the time, you don't. So whatever. The point is, I waited outside for her. She was in Whole Foods buying her deodorant and i'm like okay and then she's like and then i see this guy on his little city bike blah 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 he's he's like he's like walking he goes ex, ex, he, wait first of all he, let me let me let me say exactly how he said he went and i'm like oh uh, what i have to go like this just to hear what he has to say he goes do you know what time it is and i'm like yes let me t uh 4.53, and the funny part is that this, that is the exact time I told him. 4.53. He's like, thank you. And then he walks, puts his bike on the side. I don't know if he has a bike chain for the fucking city bike. Goes into Whole Foods. I'm still out there waiting for my cousin or whatever. Goes into Whole Foods, right? And then uh, comes out. And he's walking by me extremely slow. And then as he's walking by me, I see these two women walking by. One has a big booty. I saw it from the side. I'm like, that's a big butt, but it looks fake. That's literally what I thought in my head. I'm like, big butt. It looks fake, though. But anyways, uh, but I didn't continue looking at it because I just don't care. I'm not those. There's, there's, uh, that's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother video about how thirsty guys are and how much they stare at ass like they've never seen ass before in their life. I'm like, damn, dude, I'm going to get you a girl with some ass so you don't have to be like, <laughs> like you're going crazy. It's just ass, but whatever. Anyways, you seen porn? At least, anyways, um, the point is, and then he goes, and I'm like, what did you say? I hope the, 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 the voice cracks. I know you guys are like, why does this guy continue to use his fucking camera mic? Because it sounds hilarious when it cracks. Anyways, um, then he, then I go, what did you say, sir? He goes, oh, those, those, you, you, those girls are hot, right? And I'm like, those girls are not hot. I don't consider anyone to be hot. I'm hot when I look in the mirror. I know I'm hot when I look in the mirror. And then he goes, uh, that's right, you are hot. And then in my head, I'm like, I already knew. Here's the thing. I already knew the guy was gay. I just knew he wanted to suck my cock. You can just tell you what. When a person looks at you like this, like me, I'm just looking at you right now because I'm just talking to you normal. It's like, okay. When a person looks at you like this. You could tell they want to suck your cock. Anyways, the point is. Then he says, yeah, and I go, no, I'm only saying, he goes, you're hot. And I'm like, you're hot too, man. And then he's, and then I'm like, oh, I like your beard. Cause it had like pink in it, which is, it looks really cool. Actually, it's like a small beard and it had like pink color in it. And I'm like, that, that pink beard is really cool. And then he goes, you should dye yours. And I'm like, uh, what should I dye? He's like, burgundy. I'm like, burgundy is pretty cool. Maybe I will. I actually like that idea. Burgundy. I like the color burgundy in general, but the whole point of this is the whole time, even from the beginning, I already knew in my head, I'm like, this guy wants to suck my cock. And you know what's even funnier about it is that corny test that he did. I guess he thought I was an idiot. Maybe people are not as high as Q as I am, obviously. But the funniest test was him going, hey, look at those girls just to see my reaction. If probably if I would have been like, if I would have done that, he would have been like, oh, he's straight. Fuck it. I'm out of here. But once I was like, I'm sexy, blah, 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 or I'm hot, whatever. That's when he's like, let me talk to him a little more because I want to suck his cock. And I'm like, I know you do. But the point of it is, at least he attempted. I That's happened many times to me. 
at least men show them, men always have shown their appreciation of me. They're like, I love your beard. Oh my God, you're hot. And the funny thing is not like I don't know when that when girls kind of like me or something. I can tell because it's all about, let me hide that I like him. Hopefully he comes up to me because I'm never going to go up to him. Usually that's the case. The, the, you know what, girls, you know you know what's the best test? Do this, I swear to God, for the guys that For anyone, actually, if you could, but more for the guys and stuff. If, if you're walking and there's a girl coming towards you like this, you want to know how you can tell if they're checking you out. There's, the trick is like this. They look down the whole time, right? And then when they think you're not looking, then they go, Ew, and then they go back down. They go, Ew, and they look back down. Keep staring at their eyes. I've done it many times. It's the funniest thing in the world. You're like walking, right? You're walking. You're like, doo, 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 doo. I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. I know I'm cute. This girl's gonna look at me because I'm cute. And then you and then you keep staring at them, and and they're like this. And then when they look at you and they see that you're looking at them like this, they go, <laughs> like they're like, holy shit, he, he caught me. The secret girl code of not checking guys out and trying to act like we don't like you. Oh my god, they got that code. That shit is corny. I think girls are corny that do that. If you don't do that, you're fucking amazingly cool. And if you're a girl and you agree with me about it, you're even cooler. Can I go out with you or what? Anyways, the point is that you need to step it up, ladies out there. The, the guys need more attention out there. They need to know that they're sexy. They need to know, like, hey, nice fucking beard, uh... Yeah, I like your shirt or some stu- I don't fucking know. Have a conversation with them, start it up. It's really corny, especially in America. It's fucking- up. New York City is just dog shit. There's a reason why I don't- I, 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 I prefer never to just be with anyone in general. I just prefer to just go- Oh! Yeah. Like, I, I prefer- And I wish, actually, when I jerked off that I enjoyed it that much, but I don't. Anyways, thank you for watching this. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. What do I subscribe to? Everything. Even look at my description. Thank you. Suck. Suck, suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it.